a water jug, no. Bottle of whiskey. Maybe. <laughs> hey, this comes down to the material gold cost problem that this game always friggin' runs into, right? Hello, friends. Robert Bevan here, author of the Caverns of Creatures series of comedy fantasy novels and short stories. With me is Sam West. And today we're talking about the spell Green Flame Blade. Green Flame! <laughs> the thing that people shout at Exorcist Incorporated. Uh, and other things. I don't know the origin. Origin. Uh, this is a neat little cantrip. I don't hate this thing. It serves a noble purpose, much like Booming Blade, much like, you know. The, they're the damaging weapon attack cantrips. Yeah. It's relatively simple. So it has a cast time of an action, a range of self, five foot radius. Uh, components is a somatic and material component. requires a melee weapon. It's worth at least a silver piece. So you have to use like something worth money. You can't use a stick. You brandish the weapon used in the spell's casting and make a melee attack with it against one creature within five feet of you. On hit, the target suffers weapon attack normal. The weapon attacks normal effects, and you can cause green fire to leap from the target to a different creature or of your choice that you can see within five feet of it. The second creature takes fire damage equal to your spellcasting ability modifier. At higher levels, at fifth level, the melee attack deals a bonus D8 fire damage to the target hit, and the fire damage to the second creature increases to a D8 plus your spellcasting ability modifier. Both damage rolls increase by a D8 at 11th level and at 17th level. So at when you first cast this, you do regular weapon damage on hit to the main target, and your modifier, your spellcasting modifier damage to them nearby. At fifth level, you bonus do a bonus D8 fire damage to the hit target, and then a D8 fire damage plus spellcasting of the modifier to a secondary target. And then yeah. both those D8s go up over time. The main target never takes damage equal to your spellcasting modifier, I believe. Okay. Yeah, this is kind of cool. This is a uh... Even at higher levels, I mean, it's a cantrip. If you if you're a fighter and you take a beat to get this, I'm sure there, I'm sure there must be one. But uh, yeah, that's what. You have a thing called extra attack. Yeah. Which you don't get to use this as uh, part of your extra attack. That's uh, important. So yes. every fighter under the sun can't use this. Never mind. One specific that's... one can, and they can use it effectively for a small window of time, and that's Eldritch Knight. So Eldritch Knight likes this a lot because Eldritch Knight can uh, basically up until they get their third attack, they are if they don't have a thing to do with their bonus action, Green Flame Blade can be an upgrade, right? So you go yeah. from first level, you're using it to get the bonus mod damage to something else. At fifth level, you're using your this is your action and your bonus action. Um, I mean, it's not a fifth level. You have to get to what level in is Eldritch Knight getting this? Where is it? I pulled it up. There it is. Uh, at seventh level. You, as opposed to extra attacking with two attacks, you do main attack and, and bonus action and cantrip green flame blade as your offhand attack. And you're still making as many attacks, but now you have little bonus damage dip on both of the targets. So that's cool. Um, unfortunately, you'll eventually get to the point where you'll get, um, again, third attacks, which I think is 11th level. So uh, immediately afterwards, uh, four levels afterwards, you'll have not many reason to, or no reason really to use this. Um, so, you know, the four level right. window, it's good on one character, and it's good pre five <laughs> on them too. So like one to four, and then you don't use it five or six, then seven through eleven, you'll use it there, and that seems novel. It's decent on arcane tricksters if they're doing like you know dagger things, right? Because you can you're basically just getting bonus damage for just using your action to cast the spell. It seems fine. All right, yeah, I like I mean, it most there. I think. Yes, I mean of course it it can work on casters that are stabby stabby but i'm trying to think of uh like what what my goal here is a martial character trying to get the most juice out of their hits if they are ever using extra attack it is probably right to do the extra attack oh, of and course. not yeah. this is the problem with it that yeah. just means character level one through four use it no problem yeah. characters at level five need a way to cast this as a bonus action and make the irregular two attacks, right? Mm -hmm. Like, that's kind of where it falls. All right. Um, all right, so who who else gets this? Uh, Sorcerer World Artificers. What about them? They get the extra attack problem. They get the so pre-fourth level or pre-fifth level, they yeah. can do this pretty effectively. Um, the moment they get extra attack, though, you're like, oh, 
Uh, I think I'd better just attack twice. There are some instances where that will be the case, right? Like, maybe on Artificers, like, you'll get to a certain point, like, 11th level, where you're you're not building to your attack modifier. So you'll be like, well, do I make one attack with my longsword or two attacks with my longsword? Or do I get the bonus, you know, 48 damage out of it plus mod, right? The bonus 48 damage plus mod might be worth more than the extra attack is at that point. You will definitely want to check back to check, like... How much am I actually getting out of these attack rolls versus how much could Greenplay Blade be giving me with these attack rolls? That's going to matter. There's also the consideration, you know, do you have extra targets within range? If you don't have extra targets within range, still the two attacks is probably going to be better. But at least on that class, it's a little bit more of a consideration, right? Whereas something like a Paladin, you're going to want to smite. You're going to want to have yeah. both those attack rolls to get the extra smites off. So that's, you know, a, a consideration, but I don't think, like, a regular option most characters in Artificer are going to, like, find themselves wanting. Now, there are ways, at least one way, uh, I don't remember what it is, to get this as a bonus action. What we is get that? spell. There it is. Sorcerers. There it is. Yeah. So you can do cute things with Warlock Sorcerer builds that have enough sorcery points where you can do the munchkin stuff the Sorcerer Warlocks always love doing, like coffee locking, making a million spell slots. That also has the fun benefit of giving you a lot of sorcery points to, like, you can consume spells to fuel your sorcery points, which can give you bonus action green flame blades, which means you're doing the pack weapon attacks, siphon some uh, sp uh, sorcery points, quicken green flame blade. Then you're getting three attacks around. And that's kind of spicy, but it's really friggin' expensive on your, like, sorcery <laughs> points. You can't do that many rounds. But it is definitely a cute little play pattern I think you would consider doing on some really mid-tier to upper-tier gish warlock sorcerer hybrid kind of thing. That could be pretty spicy. I like the idea of, like, you know, a fiend lock that lights their blade on green fire as they're, you know, cutting things down just over and over and over again. That sounds super cool. Yeah. Uh, let's talk a little bit about that component. A melee weapon worth at least one silver piece. What What is that about? It just means you can't use sticks, right? It it basically okay. says you need to be using a non-improvised melee weapon for this to work. Well, it has I mean, to be a sword, dagger, something worth money. Well, all right, what about a chair? Is it worth more than the silver piece? If sure. so, then that can be a flaming chair. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I think it's a little bit funny because, you know, like, a water jug, no. Bottle of whiskey, <laughs> Hey, this comes down to the material gold cost problem that this game always freaking runs into, right? Although I don't know if improvised, so it might I might be misspeaking because it does specify weapon, and weapon uh, is well. denoted as an a, a category of object. I mean, if I'm DMing it and you want to give them the <laughs> flaming chair, you best believe you're gonna give them the flaming chair because that's sweet. Like it, it's in a wrestler move, right? Where you know you light the you just sounds awesome. Oh, but wait, um, I don't think the bottle of whiskey that works. Would you know? Would they just be consumed in flames? I mean, they're already consumed in flames. Green flames. I know, but you know, then the whiskey lights on fire and they're running around screaming. I mean, I w again, as a DM, I vote yes. As a rules is written perspective, I doubt it. Yeah. All right. Is that fair? Yeah, sure. Uh, I also wanted to point out Blade Singers. Um, they, it's a strict upgrade for them because whenever they get their extra attack, they can opt to cast Cantrip in place of one of their attacks as part of their extra attack, which means they can take, you know, everything fighters do but slightly better. So <laughs> that's nice. Uh, you attack. You get it one later level later to grade in, but it's still very, very good to be like, I attack once, screenplay blade once, and then I get the free bonus damage for no particular good reason. So that's that's sick. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is a fine little cantrip. They really do. They're just they're wizards with extra attack, is what it boils down to. And for some reason an enormous AC. With Blade Song is such a dumb that's such a dumb ability. But I mean bonkers good. Uh so yeah, like I don't think any character has very much ever needed Green Flame Blade. Um, I do think I prefer it pretty often to Booming. I think Booming is not going to always consistently give you the bonus damage, where this will regularly give you consistent bonus damage, right? So, like, yeah. even as you level up, if there aren't nearby targets, it doesn't require there be a second creature in range to get the initial damage. The extra right. D8, I don't believe. Um, creature of your choice you can see within five feet of it i'm not you'd have to consult the internet for that i don't no, think I don't you need think a second so. creature within range to get the bonus damage on the initial target the game might be weird though um in any case i think this is probably a middle of the road three i don't even think it's that much of an upgrade for the options that do get it but like if you are playing arcane trickster if you are playing eldritch knight if you are playing lead singer if you are playing an artificer there's not really a much argument for not taking this I, it's especially as like your third or fourth cantrip that it'll be fine it'll replace an attack roll now and then uh and that's gonna be novel yeah it sounds good to me three sounds about right anything else to say uh it's a fine little ability 
cool yep. give it a try all right that was green flame blade thank you sam and thank you everyone for joining us let us know what you think down in the comments below like and subscribe and we'll see you next time goodbye